waiting for Gabriel Rosado to get on the scales. Gabriel Rosado now coming to the stage. His resume is a who's who of the middleweight division of the last decade. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, 19 and 1, 9 knockouts, fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the former USBA middleweight champion, Luis Cuba Arias. Luis Arias. Uh, let's mute it until they give him a scale. Um, the weigh-in was about, about six, seven hours ago, so I'm a little late. If you want to see the full weigh-in, go on to the uh, Zone Twitter. Let me, let me uh, turn it up. Oh. 158.2. 158.2 for Rosado. 158.2. And his opponent from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the former USBA middleweight champion, the once beaten Luis Cuba Arias. One fifty nine point four for Arias. One fifty nine point four. This is a great clash in the middleweight division. Saturday night here at the Kansas Star Casino, and it's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn's match. There's definitely bad blood between both of these. However, also both of them need a win. Uh, Gabriel Rosado more than Luis. Luis, see, Luis Aries, if he loses, then at this point in time in his career, being the younger fighter, being still looked at as having a high upside, after losing to Danny Jacobs, because a lot of people thought that uh, the Danny Jacobs fight was a little too soon for him. Then they're going to do the face-off. The Danny Jacobs fight was um, a little too soon for him. We need to see this face-off. I want them to come up with a better format for this. Now, I understand they got to interview the fighters after the weigh-in. Damn, how about they, damn, get this face-off. They could cut to the face off while while he's talking though. It's Anthony Sims Jr. by the way, super middleweight. I want to know something. Two days ago we went to the premiere for Creed, and that kind of reminded me of you because he was, you know, he grew up with this big name. He didn't want the name. He didn't have the name. He, didn't, he wasn't born with that name. You understand? Well, let me go back a little. Well, let me go back a little bit and just pause it right here. Just pause right there. Um, oh, this is what we wanted to look at. The press conference was lit. This is from uh, yesterday. So like I said, Saturday night, we still in the show. I'm still in the show because it ain't much he going to be able to do but just catch a beating. I'm going to look good. I'm going to feel good. Training camp was excellent. And I'm ready to put on a show. And like I said, man, I got my money where my mouth is. Where your money at? Where your money at? You the one that shook on it. I was only going to bet five. I know I'm getting more money than him. But he wanted to up it to 10. So, okay, we shook on it. So I got my 10,000 right here. Mm. Where your money at? Eddie, hey, if I, if I knock him out, I need 15 from his purse. And if I beat him decision, which he might be able to hold on for 12 rounds, I need 10. So, basically, this is the fight of the night, in my opinion. Now, let's go look at the card real quick before we get to the other weigh-ins. It's going to be headlined by uh, Gerald Miller versus uh, Borjan Dinu. They tried to make it for the uh, WBA world title, but the WBA didn't strip uh, Manuel Char, long story. Uh, Gabriel Rosado, uh, Luis Arias. Actually, I believe, I believe the next one... Okay, this is how I think the card is going to... What the running order is going to be. In fact, I can just check my email and get it. Whatever, I don't feel like going through that. But I believe it's going to be, um, um, it's going to open up. The card's going to open, well, it's streaming card. But the top four fights are going to be Brandon Reeves versus Ramon Alvarez, Gabriel Vazado versus Luis Ares, Clarissa Shields versus Hannah Rankin, and uh, Joe Bigby Miller versus Bonjean Dino. Now, personally, in my personal opinion, you know, it's a shame because people always think just because you're from a certain city, you got to ride with the, this, the, the fighter that your city, you know, that, that they're from. I'm from Philly. I fucks with Gabriel Rosado. But if he was to beat Luis Arias, I'm going to be highly impressed. But however, Gabriel Rosado, he's never really getting shut out in a fight. The, uh, the, um, I don't know what happened with the Willie Monroe fight. 
And he always can sell, despite his 11 losses. And he didn't have any amateur background, correct? So, we'll see tomorrow. I'm going to be covering the card, obviously. It's the main major card of tomorrow. Even though, you know, it's in Kansas. There's only three weeks notice. I hear the ticket sales are not doing well. You know, it, it, I'm, I'm hearing a whole bunch of things. But at the same time, you know, they're, they're still new. You see what I'm saying? And one state switched it from Atlantic City to um, to uh, Kansas. I just knew, like, yeah, what the fuck? But let's get to the other cards. I'm at the other uh, fights. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.